Here at M Editor, we are very excited to introduce some of the new features available in version 8. One of our new features is the Large File Controller. When using the Large File Controller, you can open files that are even larger than previously possible. Let's try using this feature now. Watch as I open this very large file. The Large File Controller opens automatically. Then I click on the Stop button. The loading process is stopped. I am now able to specify my start point and end point in the file. I can also specify the range of the file I would like to open. Do I want to open the entire file, or open at the beginning, or the end, or the middle? I can open anywhere within the file, and I can open as much as I need. I have decided how much of and where in my file I would like to open. I will open the last part of my file. I click Apply. After my file opens, I view the bottom of my file. Even if I make changes in the selected section of my file using the large file controller, the entire file will be saved with the changes. With the large file controller, I can also monitor the temporary disk space available and the size of my file. I can also change the units between bytes and terabytes. Another new feature in M Editor version 8 is vertical selection editing. Vertical selection editing allows you to select and replace or insert text in column format. For example, Let's say I want to replace property with prop. I just need to select property. I do this by holding down the Alt key as I click and drag over the text. This creates a vertical rectangular selection within the lines. Next, all I need to do is type prop and property is replaced. I can also select text by pressing Ctrl Alt F8. Now let's replace text at the beginning of my lines. I select the text ID and replace it with define ID. I can even insert text at the last part of my lines by selecting at the end of my lines and typing comments. Another new feature available in M Editor version 8 is binary editing. Let's open a binary file. When I open this file, a message box appears with four options. Let's select the binary hexadecimal view. I click OK. The binary file opens, showing a hexadecimal view. In this view, I can edit and save binary files. I can also double click on the current encoding status bar at the bottom right of the screen and select another view. Let's select the binary ASCII view. In the binary ASCII view, we see that null characters are shown as reversed at marks. In this view, I can also edit and save the file. Another new feature available in M Editor version 8 is Optimize Replace All. For comparison, the screen shows version 7 small and version 8 large. Let's say I want to replace some text in a large file. I open the Replace dialog box. Then I fill in the data I want to replace and the data to replace it with. In normal search mode, the replacing feature slows down significantly because of the file size. However, if I select the checkbox next to Accelerate by discarding undo information, the search executes much faster because it discards the undo information immediately rather than saving it for review. See the difference? In version 8 of M Editor, the Projects plugin has been improved. Now Visual Studio files can be opened with this plugin. 
Let's open one now by selecting Open Solution, then selecting Visual Studio Solution File. I now select the Solution File. On the Projects toolbar, I can open the Symbol List to view a list of symbols. I can click Function to jump to functions in the file. Let's say I add some code. When I press parentheses, the parameter information tip appears. Again from the Projects toolbar, if I click on Go to Definitions, the cursor jumps to Definitions. If I click on Pop Browse Content, the cursor goes back to the previous. I can also view the parameter information. I can now build or rebuild the solution. After building, I run the solution. Here are some of the other features that are new in mEditor version 8. The function bar can be activated under the view menu by selecting function bar. Marks such as new lines, tab, space, and end of file can be customized. Auto panning of the screen is available by clicking the mouse wheel. When displayed, the new indent guide feature allows you to see the code structure more clearly. The copy command now copies the entire line when no text is selected, whereas it previously only copied selected text. The cut command now cuts the entire line when no text is selected whereas it previously only cut selected text. I can redirect Find in Files results to the output bar by clicking Use Output Bar in the Find in Files dialog box and clicking Find. Then, if I double-click on the results, it jumps to the line number of the file. I can press F4 to jump between the lines. In previous versions of mEditor, not all compiler output formats were supported. However, in version 8, using the regular expressions, all compilers are supported. Here is an example of one such compiler. Let's say I want to make each line jumpable. Under the Edit tab of the Customize dialog box, I click Specify Tag Format using regular expressions adjust the regular expressions, and click OK. Now we can see the lines are jumpable. Thank you for watching our video. We highly encourage you to download mEditor version 8 now and try out the new features. We hope you enjoy them and mEditor for a long time to come.